In the Mix, presented by California Pizza Kitchen, now located in the second floor of the Plaza Shopping Center across from DFS Galleria. Hi, for everybody, I'm Sabrina Salas Matanani. Welcome to another episode of In the Mix. The annual Trench Challenge is just months away, but recently Guam's visiting ninja warrior, Darren Pears, was on island to host a training camp to get competitors race ready. Originally from Guam in the Pacific, and now living in Plymouth with 34-year-old Coast Guard, Darren Perez. He's Guam's very own Ninja Warrior competing in international competitions all over the world. Ninja Warrior UK to get within one obstacle of facing Mount Midoriyama. In the States they have uh, two leagues uh, which is called the NNL which is the National Ninja League and the UNAA, the Ultimate Ninja Athlete Association. Both are uh, leagues recognized in the States um, uh, on a worldwide level. So um, they had the national champion, I'm sorry, the world championships um, earlier this year in February. I did make it to the uh, world championships. Uh, unfortunately, like everyone else, um, I fell on um, an early obstacle, but that's okay. I'll come back harder. Uh, this year, um, uh, I, did qual I did qualify um, first place in the regional competition, and I am now going to the UNA World Championships. Uh, I've gone on to U Ninja Warrior UK again. I'm on this season. Um, and actually, uh, the semifinals just aired. I'm now into the uh, grand finale again. Darren Perez, who is in the U.S. Coast Guard, returns to Guam every year to pick up his children. And while here, teams up with Trench Challenge to host camps to get competitors race ready. Organizer Tom Akagami. We'll be having uh, several other camps after this one um, to get people prepared for this year's event. It's one thing that we do to, uh, I guess, as a benefit for those who participate, we offer free camps for all those who participate and get them, you know, uh, build up their confidence so then when they attack the course, um, they don't have any issues. And who better to host this camp than Paris? My training regimen is very strict. It's six days a week and usually two to three times a day I train for about an hour to two hours depending on what I'm doing that specific day. So yeah, it's, it's vigorous training. Hmm, kind of having some second thoughts about this. Today, um, we're going to be going over a few obstacles that's going to be coming up in the, um, the trench challenge later this year. Uh, the skull crushers, um, the rope climb, and the cargo net. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do some of those techniques. We're going to get you on those obstacles. And we're going to teach you how to do those techniques because uh, not all the time is it strength. Uh, a lot of times it's technique, and that's, that's really what it comes down to. You can be the strongest person in the world, but if you don't have the technique, you're going down. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Before you even get on it, there's a few things you gotta look at, right? She's being held on the sides, right? By each, um, on the left and the right, and on each post. So this tells me, that I got good, um, you know, um, holds all the way around. However, because it's on the side, the middle's gonna sag the most. I usually end up going for the left and right because that's where majority of your stability is gonna be at. So if you if you watch, right, you go this way. Look at you got the, all this swing, right? Uh, you, you're in the middle. Where everyone's gonna be at. I always like to go to the one side so that because this is not gonna go too far. So I always go for the one that's more st stable. Strategy, right? So the stable you are, the easier you are. And I don't grab here because you move around, right? It's just those little things. I always grab here. And I'll grab right here so that way I have something supporting my grip as opposed to up here where some people aren't as strong. It's just those little things that you want to say. So you if you're trying to save or you're tired, all these little things will eventually help you out in the long run. There you go. Nice. One foot at a time. Arms, legs. Yep. Keep going, keep going. Arms. Oh shoot, I'm scared. Always have three points of contact. Keep going. I feel like I'm going pretty high. No, you're fine. 
I got you. Can't touch it. Cargo net climb, check. Up next, the rope climb. You can wrap your foot around that way and hook, but then obviously you're gonna have the rope on your legs, but you're wearing the right pants, so you're not really gonna like scratch your legs or anything like that. Okay. But the tip is you wanna, if you're wearing shorts, you wanna wear long socks. Yeah. To protect your shins. Long socks. But I mean, look, all my weight's on my feet, right? I personally go this way. I'm still using my arms, feet, but I can go for speed. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's a few other different ways, but those are the two that I recommend the most. Hold yourself up, bring your knees up, yep, and step. There you go. Now bring your, stand up, bring your feet, arms up. No. If you can just hold yourself up, you'll be fine, right? And then just bring your knees up. Yeah. A lot of core. Right? Yeah. And then stand up. And then stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Use your feet to stand up. There you go. Yeah, you had it. Okay, just one more time because I'm um, sorry. Uh yeah. yeah. And under. And under. There you go. Um, so bring your knee up. There you go. Uh, press. There you go. Bring your knees up. Okay, go. Hold and bring your knees up. There you go. And stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You get it. All right. More practice. More practice. A lot more practice. Oh, shoot. Skull crusher? Yeah, let's go. All right. Show me how it's done, huh? You see his body? I was moving side to side. Yeah. Momentum. Momentum. Okay. Because you're already swinging, so as you're swinging, just grab. Swing, grab. So you're letting gravity do the work rather than your muscles. So you don't go forward. You can, uh, but what he did was like so a lot easier. You're asking if you can go forward, right? Yeah. So if you go forward, you're doing the same thing. Just, I'm not using any muscle. Just gripping and letting my body take over. Swing, just reach for the next. Okay, ah, swing, swing. Swing and go. Wow, that really hurts. All right, time out. Sending my photog Byron in. Yeah. There you go. So B did it like a champ. I can't quit. There you go. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You got it? Nice. Keep going. Grab it. Grab it. Uh, you got. You got far. On to the next stand. Final part of the camp: the skull crusher. You know what? I'm. I'm not gonna be able to do this, but. They're, go ahead. I think they're easier to be honest with you. Yeah. Right. You gotta move. Oh, sorry. So, it's just here, and if you want to lay your arms down instead of using muscles, the same thing. You're just swinging, right? and use your hips to get up. No, I already know, seriously. Please. <laughs> and then just use your, your legs to... Yeah, that's great. This is not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, we'll help you. Ready? And... <laughs> okay. No, really, dude. Like, okay, so obviously I need to work on my upper body strength, but it's okay. The trench challenge is still a few months away. It is scheduled for September at the Guam International Raceway Park in Jigo. Come out and um, if you haven't registered yet, register now. Uh, TrenchEvents.com. Uh, registration fees are right now. I'd like to say about 45% off the retail price. So if you want to, you register early. There's a benefit to that. And then, of course, you, um, you get to participate in our workshops or our, our training camps. Uh, we also have a nutritionist that will be giving you tips on, on your diet. And we just want to wanna grow with you guys, so uh, come join us. Stay tuned, and the mix continues after the break.